Welcome to Magic with Madison. I'm Madison, and today is day three of Vlogmas. I'll be unwrapping day three of my advent calendars from the Fiber Fox, from Skein and the Stitch, both the stitch markers and the yarn, and finally getting to open up self striping yarn from the Lonely Knitter. So that's super, super exciting. And I can't wait to show you all, all, all these beautiful yarns. Um, before we get to the unwrapping, I'll talk a little bit about my day. Uh, today on day three, I, as per usual, made my coffee. I got to actually go out and have a coffee with some friends, which was really good fun. And uh, I had two coffees today because I'm going home to Canada in a few days. And so it was really nice to catch up with some friends before heading home for a while. Uh, and then I also did a bit of work and set some work off and did some reading and I watched the first episode of Wednesday while doing some knitting, which led to some really, really good progress, finally, on my Op and Glow. So we're almost there. I think I'm about seven rows away from finishing it. So now that I've chatted about my previous knitting projects and how those have gone and where I'm at, I can talk to you a little bit about today's yarn. So let's start with the Fiber Fox. The Fiber Fox is moving into beautiful blues. So let's pick up today's color. Today's color is a lovely teal, really, really deep color, really loving it. Not great lighting today, so sorry about that, but this is the color today, loving that. And it, it really just has so much depth to it in terms of what Georgie and Ben create. They really make these beautiful, deep colors. Here are the three colors that we have thus far, one next to each other. As you can see, I haven't yet cast on my Boxy by Hohi Locatelli, but I cannot wait to cast that on. And as soon as I am totally cast off with my Alpen Glow, which like I said, I'm only a few rows away, if not, you know, future Madison has finished this project because um, I like to wear it out tonight to dinner. I know, I wear my knits without blocking, what can you do? Um, so this will be the start from the right to the left of my new box seat by Hohi Locatelli. When it comes to the Fiber Fox, I haven't yet shown you guys or talked about the names of these colors yet because I completely forgot about the card that was involved in the Fiber Fox advent box. So let me go grab that for you. All right, here it is. It's Enchanted Forest is the name of this advent, which I feel like I haven't mentioned yet. Welcome to day three where I actually mentioned things. Now let's go through the names of these gorgeous colors. This first green we had is Magic Beans. The second green we had is Whomping Willow. Oh, sorry, Weeping Willow, sorry about that. And the third, this gorgeous deep vibrant is called Devil's Bayou. Absolutely adore that combination. 
So I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings and love this little card from Georgie and Ben. So let's move on and talk about skein in the stitch. When it comes to skein in the stitch, today's color is really, really gorgeous. Today is day three. Let me grab my project bag where I've got that color. When you and me deck the halls, making everything look just like it should at your side. The parcels are all under the tree, right where they should be. Soon everything is crisp and fine. Disney Bonafide. And so are all of you. Does this beautiful combinations of taupes and pinks? We're really moving into the pink family now. with it so you'll get to see it a little bit skeined up but I haven't knit much with it yet so if we see the differences thus far and let's grab that first mini which I'll be using for the sleeves and the collar hopefully so here we are moving down away from kind of the, the brown brocade parchment so supposedly this one reminds um, Jess of Skin and the Stitch parchment. I love that. It really does give you that parchment, kind of burnt old paper vibes. I really think that's gorgeous. So here are those three colors again. Tomorrow I'll be showing you the knitting that I've done on the lace and fade boxy that I'm making, and you'll be able to see some of those colors knit up. So wait for that one. That'll be coming tomorrow when I'll have a bit more going on with my knitting, hopefully, because I'll be finished with the alpha glove. So more stuff cast on and ready tomorrow. Now, very exciting today is that we are on to my first of the Lonely Knitters self-striping advent yarn. There's one for every Saturday leading up to Christmas, including the 24th. Uh, I believe in the previous episode I said Sunday, so sorry about that, got my dates mixed up. And so I'll be showing you those. Before I show you that gorgeous skein and show you me unwrapping that gorgeous skein, um, one little error that I want to talk about. In all of my videos, I've been using a really cute Mickey countdown from, you know, 25 to 1 uh, when it comes to counting down to Christmas. And I've got my countdown wrong. And so I unwrap them with the countdown in the background to help people. Um, I think days one through seven, I'm a day off. So I'm really sorry about that. It'll be fixed after day seven. I made sure to type up and uh, get a list down so that I have those dates right. So if I got those wrong, sorry about that. And it will be fixed in the next few days. Uh, but here we are. Let's do the Lonely Knitter. So the Lonely Knitter starts off with this beautiful Don't Open Until December 3rd and I adore that and that is really fun and I think the script is actually really beautiful so I really enjoyed that. The wrapping job is really good. It took me quite a while to unwrap. And what we find is the love we found from the Muppets Christmas Carol inspired yarn. And it's a fingering weight yarn 
that is 75% merino, 25% nylon. So here's that tag to see. And here is the color. So this color is a mix of light browns, kind of salmon -y colors, a little bit of orange, a little bit of light red, uh, and a bit of green. A light, light green. Mixed with this beautiful gray. Uh, I love this. I think it's going to be beautiful stained up. I can't wait to see anyone who's knitted up. Um, I think it's just stunning. And I will not be keeping this skein as sad as that makes me. Uh, I will be keeping only half of this calendar from The Lonely Knitter because I have a friend who loves to sock knit, doesn't necessarily get this kind of yarn, and who absolutely has a family tradition surrounding the Muppets Christmas Carol. So I kind of bought that with her in mind. And so I'll be sending this as a Christmas present to her with some nine inch circulars because I love knitting socks with nine inch circulars. So this will be going as will one of my other skeins from this advent. Haven't decided which one yet because I haven't opened the other ones yet. So once I've opened those up, then I'll be able to decide which ones I will send to her. But this one definitely needs to go to her because it's a Muppet Christmas Carol. So excited to see how that continues. have a quick literary aspect to today's video. One of the more adult series that I really enjoy is A Discovery of Witches. It's a three book series. It also has a great TV adaptation done as well, which is done really, really well. I think they capture the essence of the books really well. Um, being someone who lives in a town like Oxford, uh, I really feel the uh, the vibes of that university setting uh, that really, really speaks to me. And so I loved reading about Diana, uh, the witch who features in A Discovery of Witches, who's the main character who comes to discover herself throughout. So I love that title as well. Uh, but yeah, that series is really, really great, really fun, explores a lot of different themes. Sorry, I've got an itchy nose. Explores a lot of different themes and is one that I would recommend. It's fun. It's not exactly holiday -y, but uh, what I like to read during the holidays is something that will take me away, really be fantastical. And I absolutely devoured all three of that series. So would really recommend and hope that you check those out. All right, well, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed day three of Advent. I wish you all the best. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what books you want me to talk about what knitting you want me to talk about, if you want more info about my day or anything along those lines, give me a comment, let me know, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.